Paul Sabapathy was born in Chennai, India on the 26th September 1942 and went to the Lawrence School Lovedale and Madras Christian College. Paul's father worked for the Hindu newspaper, but in 1952, while Paul was in boarding school, he developed kidney problems and died while Paul was only nine years old. Paul's mother, a school teacher, promised his father that she would educate him abroad and in 1964 Paul came to the UK. At a time when 98% of BME people worked on the buses or in the factories, Paul went into higher education, achieving a distinction in HND Business Studies from Newcastle College of Commerce, which was also where he met his wife Wynne. Starting a master's degree at Aston University, he qualified as a Chartered Management Accountant and Chartered Global Management Accountant. Paul asked his professor while there to help him get a job in an accounts office. 150 clerks in the hall and he was the only brown face. This was to be a reoccurring situation throughout his life. Having applied for a management trainee role at IMI, he was interviewed by the finance director who told him he was the very first person of colour they were taking on, and depending on how well he did, would decide if they took on any more. No pressure then. Six years later, he was the youngest finance director in one of the largest subsidiaries of IMI at the age of just 31. Paul became a British citizen in 1984. He was transferred to IMI Titanium as a system managing director before becoming acting managing director, turning the company around from losing 10 million a year to a 10 million profit before selling it for 200 million. Paul has also held positions as the first non-white president of the Chamber of Commerce and was on countless boards including the Black Country and Birmingham Heartlands Development Corporations. In 1995, Paul was awarded an OBE for his services to urban regeneration. It was at this time that he became the first non-white chief executive of the NHS on the 1st of July 1996. When he became chief executive of the NHS, he also joined the board at the then University of Central England, transforming the university during his time as chairman and leaving 85 million in the bank. In 2000, he retired from the NHS having turned the Birmingham Eastern North Primary Care Trust from a zero star trust to the best in the country, and in 2004, he received a CBE for his work in higher education. In 2007, Paul's biggest surprise of all was that he was asked to be Lord Lieutenant of the West Midlands. Again, the first non-white person in the post. Paul has also received three honorary doctorates, attended Kate and William's wedding and the Queen's 60th anniversary celebrations. He's received a Jubilee Medal, a Lunar Society Medal for outstanding contribution to public life, he's flown in the Queen's helicopter, met all of the royals and even had to introduce the Pope to David Cameron as he was more senior than the Prime Minister at the time. Not bad for a boy from Chennai. Paul lost his wife last year after 48 years of marriage. When they married, she was given five years to live and told that she couldn't have children, but through God's grace and advances in medicine, Wynne received two kidney transplants and they had two children. John, who is a prize-winning medieval historian at UCL who has two children of his own, and Hannah, who is a Masters in Textile Design and a distinction from the Royal College of Art, who also has three children. Despite her illness, Wynne was a rock to Paul and he couldn't have done all the things he's done over the years without her looking after the home, the kids and even him. Humble as always, Paul stated, This country has been just fantastic to me and what I've been trying to do is give something back through service. To come to this country not knowing anyone, not even a friend of a friend of a friend and to be made Lord Lieutenant was mind blowing. Becoming Lord Lieutenant has meant a huge amount to me. I was very lucky to choose Birmingham. It's been so friendly and so welcoming. For his unwavering sense of duty and service across business, health, education and public service as Lord Lieutenant, as well as his commitment to connecting communities across the Commonwealth and beyond, the Phoenix newspaper awards Paul Subapathy CBE with the Lifetime Achievement Award. We would like to invite the current Lord Lieutenant of the West Midlands, Mr John Crabtree OBE, to the stage to say a few words and present the award.